टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट हुआई डू वी नीड साइक्लोप्लेजिक रिफ्रैक्शन और फॉगिंग हुएन रेस फोकस बिहाइंड द रेटिना आवर आईज एकोमोडेट सो दैट रेस कैन फोकस इन द रेटिना एंड कैन फॉर्म ए शार्प इमेज दिस मैकेनिज्म इज ऑटोमेटिक ड्यू टू हुईच इन हाइपोरेपिक पेशेंट्स आईज एकोमोडेट बोथ इन डिस्टेंस एज वेल एज नियर सो दैट ए शार्प इमेज कैन बी फॉर्मड refraction in such cases gives us misinterpretation and we may give under correction in hypermetropia because accommodation also contributes a certain amount of converging power and under correction in hypermetropia means we are leaving accommodation active both in near and distance due to which overuse of accommodation related symptoms will develop like asthenopia accommodative isotropia This issue can be solved in two ways. Number 1, fogging method. Number 2, using cycloplegics. In fogging, we give plus 1 to plus 3 diopter over retinoscopic finding so that rays can focus in front of retina and visual acuity dropped by 2 to 3 lines. Then gradually we reduce the fogging plus power until patient first read 6 6 line comfortably. If any fogging power lap we need to add the fogging power with the retinoscopic finding but the limitations in fogging method are not able to performed in young age because young children are not cooperative and they are not able to identify the optotype in visual acuity chart not able to perform in special population like cerebral palsy or patient those who are not able to speak Limitations in fogging method can be overcome by cycloplegics. In cycloplegic refraction, to relax the accommodation, we use cycloplegic drugs to paralyze the ciliary muscles. When ciliary muscle is paralyzed, crystalline lens can't accommodate even if the brain sends signals to eyes to accommodate because accommodation occurs when ciliary muscles contract, which is not possible when we use cycloplegic drugs. because cycloplegic drugs paralyze the ciliary muscles stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly